Hello everyone, I'm Mackenzie Nielis, currently a junior at South Tahoe High School, enrolled in Sports Medicine 3, and today I'll be talking about nutrition, specifically amphetamines and performance enhancing drugs. Today I'll be talking about what specifically amphetamines are, why people take them, and common names for these drugs, and the effects of how amphetamines affect both a person short term and long term. With that said, what are amphetamines? Amphetamines are drugs that increase the activity of certain chemicals in the brain and are classed as stimulant drugs. On the other hand, performance enhancing drugs are substances used to improve any form of activity performance in humans. People start using amphetamines or other performance enhancing drugs not only to improve in activity or their sport, but also as a form of escapism. Humans gain confidence and socialize more when they're under the influence, and they begin using out of curiosity or to lessen inhibitions. People also begin using amphetamines to remove personal responsibility for decisions as a way to celebrate or relieve boredom or stress, and also as self-medication to cope with problems. It also helps people stay awake or alert. Amphetamines are commonly called steroids, beanies, black beauties, crank, ice, speed, uppers, whiz. Some prescribed amphetamines are Adderall, Methylene, and Concerta. So there are several different ways that amphetamines can be taken. So one, um, they're obviously swallowed, which comes in pill form. They can be injected, which is a liquid formed through a needle, which increases the risk of infection tetanus, and blood clots. Lastly, amphetamines can be snorted or smoked, so they come in a powder form. Snorting can be very damaging to the nasal cavity and cause many nosebleeds. Amphetamines are common in sports because athletes, when things get very competitive, think they need an extra edge or push, so they start using drugs or performance-enhancing drugs, to be specific. For example, eight NFL players in 2012 were suspended for the use of Adderall without a therapeutic exemption. So obviously, by taking drugs and amphetamines, there are effects on the body. If amphetamines are smoked or injected, effects are immediate. Um, however, if they're snorted or swallowed, effects show within 30 minutes. Short-term side effects include happiness or confidence, um, talking fast, large pupils and dry mouth, increased body temperature, increases blood pressure and heart rate, insomnia, loss of appetite, physical exhaustion, and increased sex drive, and pale skin. With short-term effects being said, there are also long-term effects. Um, the biggest one being overdose, which is life-threatening due to taking large amounts or strong batches. Other long-term effects include anxiety, paranoia, depression, increased risk of strokes, tolerance and dependence of amphetamines, reduced appetite and extreme weight loss, restless sleep, dry mouth, mood swings, and irritability. A big part of taking amphetamines and the long-term effects include the mental effect it has on the body, including depression, anxiety, psychosis, and memory disturbance. All of these have been shown to directly link to amphetamines, even for people with no past mental health issues. In addition, if you already have been diagnosed with mental health issues, amphetamines can exasperate the psychotic features of that illness and can also be a detrimental effect on medications used to control mental health issues. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please let me know.